Sophie and I are taking you on a trip to Norway. That's the place where those Viking fellers lived. They sure did, Goofy. The Vikings explored the seas hundreds of years ago and had names like Sven Forkbeard and Harold Bluetooth. Bluetooth? <laughs> Gosh, that feller should go see a dentist. <laughs> Goofy, I think that's just his name. While Mickey and I tell you the story, you can read along with us in your book. You'll know it's time to turn the page whenever you hear the chimes ring, like this. Are you ready? Let's turn to the first page. Here we go. It was the first day of our vacation to Norway. Goofy and I had just checked into a hotel on the waterfront. Hey, Mickey. You know what I want to see first? The place where they catch those funny little fishies. <laughs> you mean sardines. They catch them here in the ocean. Gosh, that sure is a great big place for such teeny little fishies. Just then, a newspaper boy came hurrying by. Extra! Extra! Phantom of the Fjord! Read all about it! Phantom of the Ford? Did you hear that, Nick? A haunted car. <laughs> Not for the fjord. It's like a narrow bay or inlet. They've got lots of them here in Norway. Mickey bought a paper, and we read about this phantom of the fjord. It says here that some people spotted a Viking ship blowing through a fjord in the fog. They say it rolls up out of the water with smoke billowing into the air. Weren't Vikings those old-time Norwegian explorers? I didn't know those fellers were still around. Neither did I, Goofy. But there's one place we could find out, the Viking Museum. Our guidebook says it's just across town. We caught a bus to the museum. It was built right next to the fjord that we read about in the paper. Inside, we were met by Dr. Svensson, the museum director. Welcome. What does he say in Norway? Welcome. Thanks, Dr. Svensson. We came here to find out about that phantom of the fjord that people have been seeing. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this phantom is pure fantasy. There are no more Vikings in Norway. Are you sure about that? It looks to me like there's one standing right over there. the room was a bearded man wearing animal skins and a helmet. He looked like a Viking down to the last detail, except for one thing. He couldn't have been more than four feet tall. Gosh, Nick, the only way he could explore would be to stand on a chair. That's it, Nick. Come on, I'll introduce you. Dr. Svensson led us across the museum. Gentlemen, this is Eric, one of our museum guides. Hi, Eric. My name's Mickey Mouse, and this is Goofy. <laughs> yeah, that's a swell outfit you got there, Eric. Well, thank you, Goofy. It is genuine Viking clothing, just like my great, 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 great grandfather used to wear. Who was your great, 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 uh, who was this fellow anyway? He was Leif Erikson, the most famous Viking of all. And my name is Eric Leifson. Dr. Svensson had some other things to take care of, so she left us with Eric. He showed us around the exhibits and explained how the museum came to be. It was built here because this fjord is full of Viking relics. Viking relic? Gosh, I'd like to try some of that on a hot dog. <laughs> Not relish, Goofy. Relics. Those are souvenirs from the past. Yeah, it's right. Hardly a month goes by without a Viking relic being washed up on shore. Eric showed us Viking swords, shields, helmets, and all kinds of things. Gosh, Eric, these are great. Yeah, Goofy. But 
the greatest thing of all is behind the museum. Follow me. Eric led us through a door to the edge of the fjord. Mickey, look! It's a big old boat that floats and that I think. Gee, Eric, did this ship really belong to a Viking? You can give me no, but it's an exact copy built by people at the museum. They even used the same tools the Vikings used. That kind of reminds me of that Phantom of the Fjord. You've heard about the Phantom? We read about it in the paper. But Dr. Svensson told us it was just a fantasy. Too bad. I was getting to like that old Phantom. You know what, Goofy? I like it too, and I'm not so sure it's a fantasy. Gee, Eric, you mean you think it's real? Yeah, I do. There's a Viking ship somewhere out there on the fjord. And I, Eric Lifson, am going to find it. How are you going to do that? The best way to find the Viking ship is... Uh, with another Viking ship. Do you understand what I mean? We understood, all right. Eric wanted us to use the museum ship to hunt down the Phantom of the Fjord. He said it would be the most fantastic thing the museum had ever done. But there was just one problem. He couldn't do it by himself. If I just had two able-bodied hands to help me. Gosh, Eric, I've got two. And Mickey's got two more. Could you use four hands? I should sure could, Goofy. With your help, I can sail tonight. Later that evening, we met Eric behind the museum. At that time, a thick layer of fog had rolled in. You know, Mick, I can hardly see where I'm going. Ouch! See what I mean? We found the ship and climbed aboard. Eric was standing up at the front. Mickey, Goofy, welcome at... You look pretty excited, Eric. You can say that again. You look pretty excited, Eric. Okay, Goofy, we get the idea. Goofy is right, you know. I am excited. This is the greatest moment of my life. You stink, me, Eric Lipson. About to set sail in a Viking ship. Just tell us what to do, Eric. We're ready to go. In that case, we might as well get started. Cast off! Aye, aye, sir. We guided the ship away from the dock. Goofy and I manned the tiller, and Eric stood watch, searching the water for the Phantom of the Fjord. You know, man. It's kind of creepy out here. <laughs> I wonder if we should turn back. Where's your sense of adventure, Goofy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I lost it in the fog. Wait, I think I see something. It's a Viking ship. Let's get out of here. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but that's a rock. <laughs> Shucks, Nick. I knew that all along. Just a second. There's something else. Uh, this could be it. Sure enough, a dark shape rose up out of the water right in front of us. It was blowing off smoke, just like the newspaper said. <gasps> the Phantom of the Fjord. I've dreamed of this moment. <laughs> so am I. It was a nightmare. Follow that Phantom. through the fog, trying to pull up close enough to get a better look. I still can't see it, Mick. Maybe it would help if you uncovered your eyes. We're getting closer, man, a lot closer. No wonder it's turned around, and now it's headed straight for us. Turn, Goofy, turn! Get the deck! We're gonna crash! We crouched down and hung on tight, turning the tiller as far as we could. At the last second, we veered out of the way, and the Phantom went steaming by. Gosh, that was close. Did anyone get a good look? I got a glimpse of it. It was long and round. The 
different from any Viking vessel I've ever seen. This could be the discovery of the century. Look out! Here it comes again! For the second time, we pulled hard on the tiller. The ship changed course, and then something strange happened. Oh, no! We stopped! The Phantom must have run right into us. We've been hit by a Viking ship. Hold on just a minute. We're not sinking. Goofy was right. I leaned over the side to take a closer look at our ship. What are you seeing, Nick? No wonder we're not sinking. We're on a sandbar. What about the Viking ship? Where is it? There it is. Look! That's not a Viking ship. It's a whale. As we watched, the whale sent a cloud of spray into the air and took off for the open sea. Eric sank down on the deck and put his head in his hands. Oh, no. This is a disaster. Don't feel bad, Eric. At least now we know what the Phantom was. I'm not worried about that. There's something else. Something I haven't told you. What's that, Eric? I didn't get permission to use the ship. But when Dr. Swenson finds out about this, she'll be furious. I guess you're in big trouble now, huh, Eric? You can say that again. I guess you're in... That's okay, Goofy. Look, we might as well climb down and try to dig the ship out of the sand. Sounds like a good idea. Come on, Eric. We started digging. Suddenly, Goofy let out a yell. Yikes! Everybody run for your lives! Goofy, what's the matter? First a whale, now a dragon! Wait a minute! That's not a real dragon. It's carved out of wood. I wonder why it's sticking up out of the sand like that. Make it! Let's have a king relic! Quick, let's dig it out! It looks like it's attached to something. Jump in, Yimni! That's not just a dragon! It's the front of a Viking ship! But how did it get here? It must have sank centuries ago. Then the sand washed over it and formed this sandbar. This may explain where all the relics around the fjord have been coming from. Yeah, and it may save my job. What do you mean? You'll see. We managed to flag down a ship, and Eric hurried off to see Dr. Svensson. A few days later, he called and invited us back to the museum. When we got there, Eric was waiting in front. Well, Eric, it looks like you were right about not losing your job. I'm so glad. This museum is my whole life. Wasn't Dr. Svensson mad that you took the ship without permission? Yeah, she was, Mickey. And for punishment, she asked me to work all time on a special project. Eric took us inside, and there on wooden blocks was the Viking ship we found in the sandbar. Isn't it beautiful? It sure is. What are you going to do with it? I'm fixing it up to put on display in the museum. That's great, Eric. I just have one favor to ask. After all your help, of course, Mickey, anything. This time, let's leave the ship in the museum. Don't take it sailing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> You know, Mick, I think I figured out why they called that Viking fella Blue Tooth. Why was that, Poopy? His teeth must have turned blue from the cold. It's freezing out there on those fjords. <laughs> and now, until next time... See ya real 
soon.